Appalachian Wireless and Samsung proudly introduce Black November. All month long, get the Samsung Galaxy S9 for just a penny, the Galaxy S9 Plus just $99.99, and the Note 9 just $249.99. Black Friday, all month long at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. See store for details. everyone and welcome to EKB Local News Now for Friday, November 2nd. I'm Jill Fraley Dawson. Shannon is off tonight. We are coming to you with heavy hearts this evening as we mourn the loss of East Kentucky Broadcasting's president and CEO Walter E. May. He died last night at his home in Pikeville. Tonight we look back at a life well lived and at a man who helped transform the landscape of not only Pikeville but our entire region. Walter May began his broadcast career in the early 1950s when he was hired at the age of 16 as the first rock and roll disc jockey of WPKE. A few years later, May bought a third of the company and became the general manager of East Kentucky Broadcasting. In 1966, EKB added another station, WPKE-FM, which later became WDHR. May's vision of providing local news, information, sports, and entertainment to the region was achieved with the nine radio stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting and most recently EKB-TV to broaden the scope of that vision. May served as president of the Kentucky Broadcasters Association in 1971 and chairman of the National Association of Broadcasters in 1975. He was the recipient of many awards and honors including the Golden Mike Award. May served as anchor for the live broadcast coverage of the Apollo 11 moon mission, anchored coverage of all major floods in eastern Kentucky since 1957, and also anchored coverage of the Floyd County school bus disaster in 1957. He interviewed four presidents, Harry Truman, Jimmy Carter, Lyndon Johnson, and Ronald Reagan. May also served as chairman of the Board of Trustees at Pikeville College. From 1990 to 1993, May served as mayor of the city of Pikeville and was CEO of Pikeville Medical Center, guiding the growth of PMC from a local hospital to a leading trauma center in the region. If I were to say you, you have all these accomplishments, all these accolades from, from the time that you were a little boy, through your work history, through your work at the radio stations, through the TV station now and, and at the hospital, what do you want people to remember about you? That was the nation's, one of the nation's first rock DJs. As a man, what is the one thing in your life that you're most proud of? That would be my children. It has to be. Probably one of my biggest regrets because I probably haven't told them that much as to how proud I am and how, how I feel about them personally. I'm just curious, if I were to pick Walter May's brain apart, what philosophies would I pull out? I think I'd go back to Doc Maddy and say what you mean and mean what you say. Uh, I think I think well, I I think the biggest problems in this world are are people that are looking for complex answers to simple problems. I think the only limitations we have are those we place on ourselves. May is survived by his children, Cindy May Johnson, Melody May Papool, Christy May Atkins, and Walt May the Second, along with his grandchildren, great grandchildren, and a host of loving family and friends. Visitation for Walter May will be Saturday from 4 till 8 at First Baptist Church of Pikeville with funeral services on Sunday at 2 o'clock at the church. Walter May was 81.